I was making this badge and I had a critical error. The P kind of got jacked up. So I'm gonna make a new one and I'm gonna put it in this flag. I know, not another flag video, but this flag is different. This is Walnut. This is Paduke, which makes really red sawdust and maple. Check out this new camera. Filming the new camera with the old camera and the old camera with the new camera. Looks a lot better with the new camera. So with the old camera, we squared up our Paduke, calculated the width of all our strips, and cut some long red strips. And some not so long red strips, stripes. White maple stripes. And some walnut for the union. And from here on out, let's just let the video talk for itself. Next morning, it's dry. Let's feed it through the sander. Hey, fellow woodworkers, I have a couple questions. First, can you ever have enough clamps? And second, how many straps high is the blue field? All right, it couldn't be quiet any longer. Now you have to sand it after you sand it because the drum sander leaves striations in grain. I thought this masking film was gonna be the answer, but it frayed too much and the lines weren't exact. So I tried to fill it with white paint and that didn't work so well, so I just put some white resin in there. Flashing it with the torch helps it to level out a little bit. Now the problem with sanding this flat is that you've got to go back and stain it again. Then it's time to carve out the badge. The CNC work carving out the badge took about two hours. We're going about 25 to 30 times speed so you don't get bored. This was my first attempt at carving out the badge. I got to do it two more times.
All the rough out work was done with quarter inch and eighth inch end mills. And I came back with the 16th inch end mill, did all the fine detail. Those of you who know in the fire service, this is not an eagle. Those of you who aren't in the fire service, what is this creature? The carving out of the creature took an hour and 40 minutes. Rough cutout pass was done with the quarter inch end mill. I came back with an eighth inch that was offset three one hundredths of an inch. Nice short chisel helps with the cleanup and the fine detail. And of course, you have to sand. When I cut the pocket, I started with a quarter inch end mill. Then I came back with an eighth inch end mill that was set right to zero. And then I came back again and did a three one hundredths offset just to give a little more space so that the badge would fit inside. And it fit tight and perfect. Little love tap and it was good to go. Probably didn't even need to use glue, it was so tight, but better safe than sorry. Of course, my favorite part. Always two coats and always little sanding in between coats. Now here's a quiz question for all you retired LAFD guys. Who retired with this badge number on or about January 31st, 2013? Wasn't me. I really like this flag with the natural wood for the different stripes. I think this came out better than the LAPD Sergeant's Badge. So if you're interested, I can change the rank, I can change the number. Well, that's gonna be it for flag making for a while. I gotta build some cabinets. So don't forget, subscribe and watch our videos. See you next time.